Hey everyone, this is Eric coming from Kansas again. So what this does is there's a little pump inside here that is circulating um, water between this tank from the bottom drain spigot that usually people, nobody really uses at all in these things. Um, you're supposed to drain these tanks every year, which I, which I do actually, but these drain valves in the bottom of these things, whatever you use. But anyway, they, they use the drain valve connection and they, and at the time the kit came with a special, um, you know, concentric layout of, of fittings and pipes in there. If you can imagine that there's, I'll, just, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but it circulates water from this tank to this unit and back and it just keeps circulating water back and forth back and forth all the while this thing is uh, running in and, and heating up the water and then on the cold side it's exhausting the cold dehumidified air which is another big benefit of these things the cold dehumidified air that's what your air conditioner is doing in your house anyway that's why you have to have a drain next to your furnace slash uh, uh, evaporator unit in, in your furnace if you have a drain because it takes the humidity out of the air and that's what makes it feel more comfortable in your home. Well, these things do the exact same thing. Uh, they dehumidify the air in your house, which if you, have, if you have a wet basement, it's a big, big uh, advantage. Or if you have moisture in your basement. So that air comes out here uh, and, and this is cold to the touch, nice, nice and cold, and exhausts it through this duct well, you don't have to exhaust it through a duct. This is, you know, it's uh, it's a little sh shabby, but not too bad. Um, just you just buy, buy some six-inch duct from uh, your home do-it store, and it comes out a, a, a HVAC duct that I've dedicated to this uh, equipment, and I've capped off what uh, the duct that did supply air to our house. So. Now there's air from this unit coming out of this duct right here instead of air from the furnace fan. So hope that makes sense. And the air comes in the back. There's a, and you can't see it very well. There's a screen back here. Uh, just a, it's a screen that this it's the size of the entire back of the unit basically. <clears throat> just a plastic mesh screen that you clean out or vacuum off or whatever you do and then the condensate line you can see is right here a little dirty but uh, you have to have the condensate line come out of it and I've got that going um, you know it's kind of jerry-rigged but going in our condensate line and then it goes out there too <clears throat> so uh, and then yeah we got the two water lines here Coming in, I just uh, used PEX. It's a three-quarter inch PEX uh, tube and fittings and PEX valves. Uh, and I think I want to say these are three-quarter inch male or yeah, three-quarter inch male pipe fittings uh, for the two uh, wire connections on there. And then it's got a, a rocker valve to turn the unit on and off. It's that's lit. And then it has some status lights on it that tell you if there's any errors or anything, or if it's got power, things like that. So, um, <clears throat> oh, and then it, uh, this other wire here you might have seen, that comes down and hooks into this lower heating element uh, cover here, and you had to, dr you had to drill a hole. You had to drill a hole through this thing. And this wire, the, the wires in here connect to the heating element connection. So you disconnect the heating element down here at the bottom and you connect in these wires to it. And when, when, this, when the water down here gets cold enough, the thermostat down here will flip a switch internally and it thinks it, that it's turning on the heating element in here, but it's not. What it's doing is it's turning on this guy. <clears throat> so pretty, uh, 
simple and ingenious way of using an existing water heater and installing a heat pump water heater to it to make it much more efficient. <clears throat> when this tank does get cold enough up top, when you drain it every year and refill it with cold water, obviously, this heating element will turn on first to heat up the top like normal. <clears throat> and then when it decides that that's hot enough, it'll, and it, it'll then turn on this heating element down here, but it'll really be turning on the heat pump water heater and not the heating element. And so this guy up here, this heating element will turn on first and the, the heat pump water heater up top here will not run, which is fine. And you'll, I've got a electricity meter hooked up to it here to see that. <clears throat> so this meter is reading the 240 volt power that is being consumed from this guy, which you can see is not being consumed at all. There's no 240 volt power being used. The only thing that's heating up this tank is 120 volt power, which is pretty cool. Down here, this uh, this tubing arrangement. So, what this is is there's <clears throat> there's some. Um, we've got a light here, but anyway, there's a T valve come up here, and there's a T valve come up here, and then they also have a the the drain that continues off. So you, you can still drain the tank. But they have two T connections coming off here, <clears throat> and there's a cool arrangement they made of um, tubes inside of um, uh, other T fittings. So if you imagine a, a, a three quarter inch, no, I think it's a half inch uh, copper tube running through a three quarter inch T fitting, that's kind of what they're doing basically in there to, to get to get. Uh, water to come in one uh, one way out of this uh, drain fitting that comes from the factory on this tank and then the hot water has been heated to come back into the tank so cold water is being sucked in um, through one of these legs and then hot water comes back into the tank through this same connection and inside here <clears throat> there's actually a, a, a a copper pipe or a tube that came with this kit that goes inside the tank a little bit so that the hot water when the hot water comes back in it'll go a little further into the tank and then will rise will rise up because hot, hot rises um, and then <clears throat> so it, it won't be pushing the hot water in then immediately sucking it back into the heat pump water here so it, it, it doesn't do that it, <clears throat> it comes back in through here and goes through a tube and then goes into the tank and heats the tank up and then <clears throat> the cold water that hasn't been heated yet it comes directly from the bottom of the tank area and through one of the and goes through one of these tubes so there's a little separation of where the hot and cold uh, comes in and goes out there inside the tank uh, <clears throat> but anyway that's that but hope that was helpful if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, grace and peace be with you. Bye for now.